As we explore the National Park of Utah, we opted to stay in St. George, and we were pleasantly surprised knowing that the city has its own unique beauty as well that visitors can enjoy. So for today's video, I'm taking you to one of the most beautiful parks in the city, the Pioneer Park. It is a 52-acre rustic community park that is situated on the Red Hills Parkway, just about 10-minute drive from the city proper. This park is truly a paradise for the rock climbers and hikers. There are many trails and rocks to climb. We were able to hike up to the top and see the little rock arch. We experienced the narrows, well, partly, and had a relaxing walk to a nearby desert garden. As we walked towards the giant rocks, we were amazed of the color, the different sizes and formations of the rocks and wondered how these rocks were carved over time. And look at this one, they built a cabin-like structure between the giant rocks. I read an article that this one is an old prison, but I'm not really sure if it's true. This is a family-friendly park and kids who love outdoor adventure will definitely love this place. I saw children running around. Just be mindful though that this park is really massive with some dangerous cliff, lots of holes and cracks. So keep your eyes on them. The park is open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Admission and parking is free. Actually, you can drive all the way to the Slot Canyon and there's a um, parking area close to it. I'm going to show it to you guys later. The popular Dixie Red Rock, but we opted to skip this area because there are lots of people, but definitely a messy when visiting the park. Since there are many trails here, you have the option to do short or long hike. Just a heads up though, it's scorching hot in here so bring lots of water and have a proper footwear for your safety. That's the parking area that is very close to the crack or to the slot canyon. We did not plan to climb the rocks, but it's so tempting. Actually, we were not wearing proper footwear. However, we were able to reach the top of the hill where the arches are. And from here, you can see the beauty of the surroundings, especially the whole town of St. George. This 
is really a great stop when you are heading to Horseshoe Bend or Antelope Canyon. Akala ko five minutes lang yun. Mataas. Wow. 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 Oh, this is not good. People just mess it up. Here. Wow. That's the arch. Yeah. Yeah, and there's another one over there. Wanna go there? Wow, this is amazing! We are at the top of the mountain. You're touching the sun. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so cool. So this is the entrance of the Narrows and as the name implies, it's really narrow. That is so narrow. No, it's very narrow. be able to fit there I have to I have to go on a diet for maybe a year yeah it's so narrow only the kids can go look yes and video wow. And if you're visiting the park, don't forget to stop at the nearby desert garden. This is a 5-acre garden that features 5,000 water-efficient plants. It has a stream stuck with native and endangered fish species. And if you love cacti and desert plants, this is the right place for you. The park is open from 6 to 10 p.m and admission is free this garden has many pathways that you can walk around and it's so easy to navigate and one thing i like in here is that the uh, plants are properly labeled so it's very easy to identify them Nevada tree Joshua tree subscribe and by clicking the icon bell to be notified for future uploads like this and to all my subscribers 
Thank you so much for all your support. Maraming salamat po. Thank you.